A problem ignored is a problem not solved. I'm Brian Lilly with Rebel Dot Media. We can't disguise it, we can't ignore it, and we can't claim it's nothing. We have a growing illegal immigration problem in Canada. Now, many people, most media stories, will try and tell you that the folks walking across the border through forests and farmers' fields, well, they're simply refugees. Just because they claim to be refugees doesn't mean they are refugees. We've seen people coming from Mauritania, from Yemen, Somalia, Syria, and elsewhere crossing into Canada across our southern border. But here's the important thing to remember. These people are not crossing into Canada from Mauritania. They're not crossing into Canada from Yemen or Somalia or Iraq. No, they're crossing into Canada from the United States of America, our closest ally, our neighbor, and a country that, yes, even under Donald Trump, is welcoming of refugees and immigrants, at least the ones that follow the rules. So what are these people then? Well, technically, they're illegals, illegal immigrants. They are literally breaking into Canada, crossing illegally, and doing so in a way that says someone south of the border, perhaps some people smugglers, people they're paying, coach, or they're coaching them on how to get across and use a loophole in our refugee system, the one that says we don't accept refugees from the U.S. of A. Now, while media outlets have been documenting what's happening in places like Emerson, Manitoba, Hemingford, Quebec, politicians have been reluctant to ask, what's the government going to do to stop this? In fact, I can't find a single MP asking the government to stop this. All I can find is the NDP asking the government why they won't do more, why they won't scrap the safe third country agreement with the U.S., the one that says we tell refugees from the U.S. to stay and apply there, and they tell refugee claimants coming from Canada to stay and apply here. In fact, the NDP has been pushing all week to repeal the Safe Third Countries Act, including a question from NDP leader Tom Mulcair on Thursday. Every day there are more stories about refugees trying to cross the border into Canada from the U.S. These individuals are desperate, fleeing a country that is no longer safe for refugees. They know that the world has changed since the election of Donald Trump, and they're willing to risk their lives for a more secure future here in Canada. In these circumstances, why does the Liberal government insist that it's business as usual? Now, the best that I can say, well, so far, thankfully, is that the Liberals have not agreed to scrap the Safe Third Countries Agreement, despite calls from the NDP and Liberal allies like Lead Now or radicals like No One Is Illegal. Here's our Immigration Minister, Ahmed Hussain. Proven to be a compassionate government when it comes to welcoming those fleeing war and persecution. We have a system in place that is one of the most compassionate refugee systems in the world. The U.S. executive order has had no impact on domestic asylum policy. We, each and every eligible asylum claimant has access to a fair hearing, and each case is assessed on its merits. And that's pretty much been his line all week when questioned by the Dippers on this. The Conservatives? As far as I can tell, they haven't asked the government to stop this. Now, I get it. They don't want to let the Liberals paint them as anti-immigrant, as racist, as uncompassionate. But here's some simple facts. When the Conservatives were in power, they kept immigration levels at historically high points. Canadians know this, and they know the party's not anti-immigrant, not racist. Secondly, we have a system that's based on following the rules and waiting your turn. These people are jumping the queue by using a loophole that allows them to claim to be something they're not. Refugees. If you want to claim you're fleeing war in Syria, but you're entering Canada from beautiful Plattsburgh, New York, I have news for you. You've already fled the war successfully. You are in a safe spot. In fact, you're in an area where plenty of people pay really good money to go on vacation. Finally, the issue of compassion. We are told that we have to be more compassionate, accept these people in because they're walking through snow-covered fields, sometimes in minus 20 weather, just to get into Canada, and if we don't accept them, someone could die. Well, exactly, someone could die. And if we keep accepting people doing these foolish things and rewarding them, then yes, someone will die. Rewarding bad behavior produces more of it. If we keep taking people and granting them refugee status because they walk through a snow-covered field, ill-prepared in minus 20, then eventually more people will do that and someone unprepared for those conditions will die. Now, while the Conservatives have not been tough on this issue in question period, doesn't mean they're all silent. Ted Falk, who represents the riding of Provence, a riding that stretches along the Canada-U.S. border out towards Emerson, has said he's going to push for answers. Here's what he told the news site Steinbach Online. Quote, 
the United States of America is a safe country. There's no such thing as a refugee from the U.S. They're not being persecuted there. He also said he's been hearing from constituents who've been awoken in the middle of the night with border crossers banging on their doors and windows seeking help. He said that creates a lot of anxiety for some residents and they're somewhat fearful. That has been expressed to me and that's been happening and that the safety of our residents is paramount here. Now, like me, Falk thinks that people coming across are being coached on how to do it. The people they pay to drive them close to the border are, and before they drop them out of the cars and trucks in Point North, are telling them what to do, how to do it, so they can get into Canada. I completely agree with that. This is organized, this is orchestrated, and it's wrong. As I've said before, doesn't matter if you love Donald Trump as president or hate him. The United States is a nation built upon the rule of law. In fact, after losing more than once in court, Trump is now redrafting his travel suspension, the one he placed on seven countries, in order that it follows the rules set out by the courts. The U.S. is not a dictatorship. It is not at war. It is not oppressing people. It is not producing refugees. It is producing Ill illegal immigrants, and we need to say no. We need to nip this in the bud before it gets completely out of hand. If you've not signed already, then please go to our petition, noillegals.ca, sign the petition, then share it on social media. Let your friends know about this. That's noillegals.ca, sign now, and share it far and wide. If you like this Rebel video, make sure you never miss another one. Again, click subscribe and do us a favor, share this on Facebook.